WBAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. Kind of quiet in uh, Hanover at this hour as you look live on our Hanover Sky Cam. You can't tell, but yeah, there's some cloud cover moving in overhead. 58 degrees. Pretty mild considering our normal highs are around the mid to upper 50s right now. A south southeasterly wind that's starting to bring up some low level moisture. Showed you that top of the newscast. Get to that in a second. So, what's it mean for overnight? Yeah, I think it'll be rather cloudy. Could even be a little patchy drizzle developing, especially in southern and eastern counties York, Lancaster, Chester, Berks, maybe Lebanon counties later tonight. Only going to drop to about 50 and then. Uh, in the 50s during the morning tomorrow, cloudy, mild morning again, a little drizzle here or there, a little dampness. And tomorrow afternoon, I still can't rule out a spotty shower. I favor them in eastern counties. Uh, mainly a cloudy day. But despite the clouds, we'll get up near 70 degrees. Now, if we get more breaks in the clouds, especially western counties, we could be into the 70s once again. A very mild weather pattern continues. In fact, those numbers aren't too bad out there right now. Clear skies, Seals Grove is at 47. Everybody else in the 50s, near 60 in Gettysburg. Still 65 in Chambersburg, 54 in Lancaster. Yeah, that's because of that cloud cover. Now, the radar starting to pick up some sprinkles down around Bel Air and down toward Baltimore, but nothing over us. You can see that moisture I was showing you earlier. It's moving into drier air, so it's having some problems moving up into here. But I'm checking some of the observations around Annapolis and down to the west of D.C. They're seeing a spotty light rain, nothing real serious. This is no big storm. It just happens to be where the southerly flow sets up, and it's bringing in some moisture. Also, another storm out here in the Midwest, or out in the Rockies, I should say, Flagstaff, Arizona, had about six inches of snow today. But high pressure. Is giving us that easterly flow, and that's what's bringing in that moisture. But uh, with that storm out in the Rockies, why is it so cold? Well, there's a dip in the jet stream, allowing the cold air to pour in. But that also, in response, makes the jet stream go well off to our north. The winds aloft, so keeps it on the warm side. But let's concentrate on this: the low-level moisture coming in tonight, and see the clouds overspread us. Patchy stuff tonight. There's not going to be a lot of precipitation during the day tomorrow either. Predictors saying we get up into the 70s. I think the clouds may hold us in the 60s, but not out of the question we get to near 70. Going to be a mild night tomorrow night too. Then, instead of that southeasterly wind, we get more of a west southwesterly wind ahead of a cold front. We could be in the mid to upper 70s on Friday. Could break a record. Then a cold front comes through, but it doesn't look like much precipitation. Behind it, we do cool down. In fact, between Friday afternoon, mid 70s, to Saturday later in the day in the mid 50s, 20 degree drop in temperatures. Going to be a breezy, cool day. A lot of clouds around, I suspect, on Saturday also. Sunday turns out cool. Temperatures in the 50s on Monday. It starts to get milder midweek. Could get a little moisture by then. If we hit 70 tomorrow and do it again on Friday, that would be four days in a row. Of 70 degree weather. No, it would almost, be not enough. <laughs> almost unheard of in November around here, and I'll talk more about that coming up. I still can't get over you saying in the upper 70s, maybe. It's not out of the question. Wow. That's a